I wonder if I actually have to say this or I can just keep it up here and people will read it or, you know, not attack them. <music> Who is Blue 798? Blue 798 is someone that mostly does commentaries but does dabble in who animation and collabs and gaming videos which I'll be mostly focusing on his channel only so I won't be looking at like collaborations but I'll just you know focus on his commentaries first and then make my way from that it will probably be kind of like commentary and then animation and then the drama thing with you know, other creators. Probably going with that. I don't know. This is just pre-editing me. Hopefully post-editing me will uh, do it. I don't know what post-editing me will do, but yeah, let's get into it. For his commentaries, they're alright. He really just talks about what's happening in the videos and what's happening with the channels he's talking about, which is fine. It's whatever, but you know what? It's just kind of boring to me, honestly. This is just my personal opinion, but I think it's pretty boring. There's like nothing to spice it up, honestly. Like... There's not really any jokes in the videos I have watched by him looking at other channels. Like, I would recommend just spicing it up with, like, at least some dark humor or some humor in general. Like, oh my god, the imposter is sus among us? Is this a Among Us reference or some fucking shit like that? I don't fucking know. It's just really boring. Honestly, yeah, you get the information and then you just put it in a video. That's about it. But I would just recommend just trying to spice things up, like making jokes. Yeah, I know you'd probably have to put a disclaimer saying, This is a joke. Calm your ass down, Karen. But still, I would recommend just putting at least some jokes throughout the videos. You do on comments on other v on other people's channels. Just add some decent jokes. Heck, purposely mispronounce their names or some shit. I I don't fucking know. Do something to spice up because when I'm watching like a fifteen minute video, fifteen to thirty minute video, I want I want to at least be semi entertained. Well, you know talking about the channel seriously <laughs> instead of you know just saying whatever comes to mind while you're watching the videos from the channel or giving information about the channel like you can be sarcastic or whatever <laughs> but at least make it funny make it at least a bit interesting to watch instead of you know just sounding like a fucking brick wall <laughs> like the shit I do is just basically watch a video, poke fun. That That's basically my channel. I just poke fun occasionally. Have a good laugh. Instead of, you know, just spreading boring information everybody probably knows. At least have something to keep the viewers entertained. I, I don't know, you can say, Fucking Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? Or some shit like that. Instead of just being a brick wall. Because all these commentary videos are just Blue Seven being a brick wall, basically. <laughs> Instead of, you know, over exaggerated kind of jokes or whatever. Like, do something interesting. Do something interesting or funny in your videos. Instead of, you know, expect people to watch all the way through without. You know, hearing one over-exaggerated joke or over-exaggerated reaction. I mean, come on, I'm not gonna watch a 30-minute video that's just like fucking reading the Webster's Dictionary. I'm, I'm not gonna watch that. 
But I am going to watch Funny Moon Ghost number 11. Alright. Or some shit like that. Add, add some emotion or f exaggerated funny. I, I don't fucking know. Just make it less boring. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about his art and animation. <coughs> Sorry, my throat was kind of dry. Uh, anyways, his art is pretty decent. You can see it from most of his thumbnails. He can draw pretty well. I mean, these are probably next to kind of Ed's World thumbnails, but you can see he can put the effort into his art, which I enjoy. I honestly like his art. I think it's pretty good. I just enjoy a nice character avatar. But uh, yeah, there's points where he can draw and then points where he can't. Where he can draw is definitely good. His avatar when he's like commentating on something. Yeah, I think he draws that pretty well. His Smash LOL video was pretty good. It was nice. But here comes something that I noticed in his Smash LOL animation. And where the animation part comes in. His animations kind of look like a game leg. What do you mean game leg? I mean when a game leg is out so hard it comes from about 60 or 30 FPS to like half of that. That kind of leg. But uh, yeah. You can see it here. There's like a few ways to fix it. For starters, just drawing the character parts separately. I feel like that would definitely help. And also just kind of making the animation separate from the actual video. If you have a separate animation with a green screen, you can just easily port it in. That's my opinion. I feel like if you made the animation separate from the actual video, it would run smoother. That's my opinion, honestly. I think you could do smoother animations if you do it separately from the LOL video. I feel like that can definitely improve some things. And also just not using PNG effects also works out. If you can find a green screen effect, that's good. But PNG won't really get you far. Unless you're willing to animate the PNG all the way, then I guess you do you. But you can also draw, like, the explosion damage as you saw in the video that I'm probably playing right now. But yeah, that can definitely be smoother. A lot of things can be smoother in the LOL video. But yeah, my idea is just have an example of your character and then try to draw around that have like frames kind of transparent behind them while you're editing the video or editing the f next frame just kind of do that just kind of make it a motion as you draw you want your character to basically be following what you're drawing animation by animation or drawing by drawing <laughs> that's Something I would definitely consider, just make your character transparent and then slowly draw frames. I don't know, that would be what I would probably do. I don't know, you do you. Uh, yeah, I think that would make it more smooth as the animation plays out. If, you know, you kind of follow the animation with your drawings. I'd say... I can't really get a hold of how much drawing you would have to do. Probably like 10 or roughly around 20 or 30 drawings per animation. I'm assuming this is just my guess because I haven't animated shit, so you know, whatever. But yeah, there's lots of ways to improve this. I'm going to kind of do this in order since there was another drama that I'm going to bring up in this video that happened like, I want to say a week ago, but uh, yeah. Anyways, for the Radbat situation, I'd say Blue 7 just kind of stood his 
ground, you know. Except, you know, he kind of made the mistake of calling someone a pedophile, which was, like, the weirdest thing that happened. If he didn't do that, that'd probably end the entire drama and made it probably not happen. Maybe, I don't know. But I feel like it would have just not happened if he didn't call Radbat pedophile. But anyways, I'd probably put him on roughly the same level as Jake. Maybe a little bit lower. Maybe. I I don't know. It's roughly around Jake's level in the drama. So, oh yeah. Still stupid. Still fucking stupid. But, you know, not as stupid as the person that actually, you know, made the worst mistakes in the drama. You probably wonder who that would be since I covered everyone else. You'll see in the next segment, most likely. But let's keep going. The next drama kind of puts him down under Jake. Because the next drama is him being a Karen about the pointing meme. If you saw my video, you already know what I think. It was fucking stupid of him to do. And stupid in general. Anyways. Yeah, that's my thoughts on the drama. But not the final parts of the trauma. As you see, I didn't bring up a certain person. Even though I said their name in the drama parts of the videos that I did. But, you know. I didn't say their name, so get ready for your asses because I'm finally going to talk about them. I really don't like Radbat in this drama, or any drama really, but I'll be focusing on this drama because it involves the person I'm actually making a video about, but really, I, I do not like Radbat in this drama. He was the absolute fucking worst. He took everything to the fucking extreme, which is really fucking stupid. More stupid than the fucking meme situation with Blue Sevens. And not to mention, most of his videos on it did not have text-to-speech, which would have helped him more. But, you know, whatever, whatever. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt with that one. But seriously, going with the extreme with every fucking thing was really fucking stupid of Radbat. I mean, by God, he was the worst in this fucking drama. I know I'm probably going to repeat that a lot, but it's fucking true. This shit was too fucking stupid. I mean, not to mention his grammar fucking sucks more than mine. And I consider myself a fucking lowlife when it comes to grammar. Like, my God, how, how, what... And also his editing kind of fucks it up so you can barely read some of it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is just ragging on him at this point because, goddamn, just, wow, is the drama between him was, like, fucking stupid, but his responses were fucking stupider. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, I I know I'm probably going to get him to hate me because of this, but my god, he was the worst in the drama. Just have text, seriously, not even, you know, something to read the text. Heck, it would probably read it wrong because his grammar was horrible. And not to mention the extremes, like... Oh, Blue Sevens fans are gonna attack me because Blue Seven is gay or some shit. I don't fucking know. Like, how do you get... Oh, this YouTuber wants me to delete my channel. <laughs> like, you could have probably just been like, Hey, I'm not a pedophile. And that would have been it. But nah, just had to go to the extreme. Damn. Okay, this is the end of the segment. I, I can't talk about this anymore before I absolutely roast the shit out of Rad Bat. I don't want to roast the shit out of him, but I feel like I want to roast the shit out of him. You get me? It's kind of like a car crash, but instead of just looking, you're talking about it. <laughs> okay, now we're at the end. 
what do I personally think of him? I give him a six on a. I would give him a six because yeah, I know I gave Jake a five point five. But I feel like this is at least a step up from Jake. <laughs> you know, if you enjoy informational videos that are talking about channels that you're curious about, I'd definitely give him a watch. But if you're looking for funny XD, I wouldn't watch his channel if you're looking for comedy type things. Other than his occasional video here and there. But I would look at his gameplays more because they're more enjoyable compared to his commentaries. His art is pretty good. Kind of wish he would do speed paints or whatever. But yeah, I, I give him a 6. A 6.1 on a good day. This is definitely a step up though. We're, we're finding pretty decent channels on my channel, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, channel section. But yeah. Blue Sevens definitely is upgrade from Jag. There there's no way I can't say that because you know Jag is just okay. Blue Sevens is fine. A seven or like a six point five would be good, but you know what? I'm giving him a flat out six because it's not really my type of tea. You know, I prefer somebody that can entertain, but as well as inform in the same videos and not just separate videos. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's just how I feel. I'll see you fucking idiots later. <laughs>